the two key stumbling blocks was, um, as I shared before, was the lack of a Freedom of Information Enactment Act. And the second was uh, on public asset declaration. Uh, most recently, even though with the last government that we have, um, even though we had um, in initial strides in terms of making um, the declarations of public officials, at least um, parliamentarians public, that apparently um, was not good enough um, yet for OGP in terms for us to have that um, criteria ticked off. So in terms of uh, concrete efforts in dealing with this, the key stumbling block for Malaysia uh, participation right now is one is um, the Freedom of Information Act. That That is, if we have that tabled or, or even as a complete draft that's ready for tabling, that would actually put us over the minimum eligibility score because we actually are doing quite well in the other areas. Uh, and on this stage, um, as I shared before, um, Malaysia actually has started that, pro um, that process with the legal services department, as long, uh, along with civil society, which is um, the Center for Independent Journalism, to actually start the process of uh, drafting that law. So we actually, um, at this stage right now, we're continuing at least the civil servants at, um, um, at the legal uh, affairs division or the legal affairs department um, and, and civil society are still continuing with trying to improve and um, going through the process of finalizing that um, F FOI enactment act. But yeah, <laughs> in Malaysia right now, we are in a kind of a uh, bit of a turmoil in terms of politically. Um, so getting support from the executive might be a little bit difficult at this stage, but at least civil society and uh, the civil service will continue to, to work on the policy aspects um, in terms of public service delivery, going through the process of um, getting ready, uh, you know, a bill for Freedom of Information Act uh, ready. So, sh so that um, should um, the executive uh, feel that they need to support uh, or push the process through where Malaysia becomes eligible, that we have these processes in place that allow us to be eligible uh, for OGP. Mm -hmm.